Welcome in Decor Bomb. Please share and subscribe to watch more. Small space design tricks will truly maximize your home. When you live in a small house or apartment, fitting in everything you need is difficult. Trying to fit everything and make it look good is an even bigger challenge. But that's what makes small space design so fun. Coming up with clever solutions to those obstacles makes it all the more rewarding in the end. Luckily for you, we've got quite a few small space tricks up our sleeves. With hacks ranging from hanging beds to hidden storage, tricks of the eye, and more. Whether you live in a studio apartment or want to get more out of a tiny room in a small house, these small space design ideas will make it feel so much larger while maintaining style. Opt for white lacquered walls and glossy tiles, as designer Brian Patrick Flynn did here. The high shine materials are reflective and will generate the same maximizing effect that a mirror. Will bouncing light and making for a generally airy space. Pocket doors with glass windows allow for shared light to flow throughout the space while also creating separation. And even better, they slide right into the wall when not being used, taking up much less space than swinging doors. Though it may sound counterintuitive, covering a wall floor to ceiling can make a small space feel larger. In Rudy Saunders' apartment, an assortment of framed works plus an overscaled watch clock draw the eye up, making the 375-square-foot studio feel more expansive. When space is limited and you don't want to shop for new, bulky furniture, use a chair as a side table and install wall sconces to save surface space. A cheerful color, like this pale turquoise hue, is also a good idea to set a happy mood in a tiny room. By hanging subway tile vertically rather than the more common horizontal hang designer Ania White, makes this modestly sized bathroom feel both taller and more streamlined. A tight palette of black, white, and blush prevent it from feeling cluttered. For the restaurant at the Cornell Inn, Toledo Geller used drapery to cleverly conceal pipes and hook, creating an elegant canopy while avoiding visual chaos. Since it doesn't take up any literal floor space, a swinging seat gives the appearance of a much more open room. For proof, look at the daybed Tiffany Brooks hung in this room at the Kipps Bay Palm Beach Showhouse. Small round tables aren't just for breakfast nooks. Ditch the giant dining table and give yourself some extra space by opting for a small, round dining table instead, like Emily Henderson did here. Add a daybed and watch your bedroom double in size. If you don't have a designated guest room, this could also come in handy in your living room. In this Manhattan apartment, C. Sparfield Thompson corralled the owner's books and accessories into one room, where built-in shelves complete with gallery lights make the items look deliberate. The best part, this library doubles as a dining room in the small apartment. Yes, even on the fridge now, especially your fridge and other bulky appliances. Since there's limited space for extras and less room to pile in all your favorite items, you'll need to beautify everything. Here, Anthony Dunning turned a regular old refrigerator into a design opportunity by dressing it up in. Removable wallpaper, a media console is the biggest space waster in a small living room. Mount your TV on the wall or above a fireplace and you'll regain necessary floor space. Or, even better, hide it. Whether inside of a credenza or disguised as artwork, this design trick is perfect for anyone whose living room is always their family room, dining room, and or more. Every single inch counts in a small house, so be sure to take full advantage of architectural quirks this way. They'll actually become your favorite thing about the space. That radiator by your window. Invest in a pretty radiator cover and customize a cushion so you can use it as a window nook to read and relax in and you'll be able to forego the bulky couch that'll take up half the studio. Pile on the pillows and add a pendant light for tasks, as Jeju did here. It's the oldest design trick in the book. Mirrors will make your space feel larger, lighter, and airier. And a fun convex one like this adds a lot of personality without taking up a ton of space. Choose furnishings that offer maximum functionality in minimal square footage, for example, Instead of an end bench, opt for a desk with a small side chair. You can use it for work, 
getting ready, and more. If your kitchen doesn't have an island and you don't have a living room that's separate from the kitchen, don't give up on making it functional. Opt for a tall wooden table that can provide some extra counter space for cooking and as a two-top. Dining table. Use this one in a kitchen by Kareen Mathern Studio as your blueprint. Come, even toned rooms fool the eye into thinking they're more spacious than they are. Make sure to add a variety of textures to keep the space from falling flat. Designer David Kaihoi used some seriously smart storage solutions to make his New York City. Apartment work harder including creating this compact laundry room in his closet. That way, when he's not doing laundry, he can close the door on these eyesore appliances. Bespoke built-ins, storage nooks, and furniture tailored to your exact needs can utilize every available sliver of space. When they're part of the walls, you don't lose nearly as much valuable square footage. And extra storage under a bench helps, too. In interior designer Max Sinstedin's studio, he made his sleep zone feel separate from the rest of the room by hanging a super high curtain and then suspending a floating painting to break it off. Even more, I hate seeing a bed from the front door, so I added a curtain to partition that space. When you close it, you honestly feel like you're in a Parisian hotel, he tells us. This means you can entertain, too, without feeling like everyone's hanging out in your bedroom. A small space doesn't hamper me from inviting 50 people over. Even a windowsill can provide extra storage space for decor, lighting, and other essentials when there's no room for an extra table. Don't think you have no room for an office. Think again. A mounted wall desk takes up way less room. And you can even mount shelves above it for even more storage space. Designer Tariq Dixon transformed an unused corner by installing a wall-mounted desk. Opt for extra seating that can fold up and be super compact so you can store it away while the guests aren't over. A stool like this one in a living room designed by Hacker Guthrie is perfect. It may seem counterintuitive, but outfitting a small space with just a few large-scale pieces rather than a mishmash of pint-sized furniture can actually make it feel grander. Resist the urge to push all of your furniture up against the walls. If you create space behind the furniture, it makes the room look wider than it is. It's easy to overlook a room when it's super tiny, especially because there simply isn't enough usable space for decor. But it's definitely possible and well worth it to elevate and personalize these little rooms. Take this powder room in Elana Michelle Roth's home, for example, with a light blush pink wall color and a surrounding gallery of eclectic artwork. The small room packs a lot of punch. Exploit the often underutilized space between